How everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I just want to jump right in and I want to show y'all how to retarget XN FBX animation data to Unreal Engine, how to basically retarget a character. So we're going to jump right into that. So first off, you already got your XN's FBX data. You already transferred it using a motion cloud or whatever. But now you want to be able to bring that animation that you created into Unreal Engine and put it on a character like this. All right, so first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this site. This is the Movella site. When you go over there, I'm going to scroll down. I'll leave the link in the description. Basically, what I did was I downloaded this MVN puppy. So you need their skeleton rig to be able to basically connect it to your character skeleton to do your retargeting process. So once you have that, all you're going to do is you're going to get it a drag and drop it in. Let me go look where my retargeting thing is. I got it right here. All right, so... We're going to go in, I'm going to grab that bad boy up, and I'm going to drag it over. This is that, you can leave all of this the same. You can see what I got in here. We're going to import all. So this is what you just downloaded. All right, so now that I have that basically imported in, we can see all of our assets there. This is basically when it comes to downloading that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. I just do this. I'm just going to call this retarget. I know I'm in a retarget. So let's just call it one. Right, we're going to call it one. We're going to open that up because we don't want to get things, you mean, all squared away. So first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to right click. We're going to go to animation. We're going to recreate. Well, I can't even talk right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an IK rig. Now, this IK rig, we're going to connect it up to Basically, if we go in there to skeletal mesh, this is that MVN puppet import. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label that MVN, a little space. So now we have that MVN IK rig. Now, I want to basically retarget this character right here. So I'm going to create another IK rig. That IK rig is going to be with his skeleton. This is the cyborg. You can see I got cyborg on there. So I'm going to right click again, animation. We can go to IK rig, IK rig right there. Now from here, I'm just going to type in cyborg. I see my cyborg skeletal mesh right there. I'm going to right click, well, not right click, just going to click on that. So we got that cyborg in. I'm just going to label this cyborg IK rig so we can see him. Now this is where we got to start the retargeting process. So once we have these two, what we're going to do is I'm going to Double click on the MVN IK rig. It's coming off the window. I want to drag that over so y'all can see all of this goodness. Let's be able to move this thing down right here. So now we're in here. What we're going to do first off, we're going to go to hips. See how we got our hips up there? I'm going to right click on hips and I'm going to set retarget root. So now we have that in. Now, understand what I'm going to be showing y'all is how to retarget. This is a character that have finger animation as well. You know, I've been using the stretch sense gloves. I've been using the manis gloves. And so I got hand data. I got finger data. So we're going to go through and utilize how to be able to retarget um, your character with hand data. If you saw how I showed you here. They're going to show you um, how to retarget, but what this does is it's just showing with no hand data. So I'm actually showing you all the video of this, so we're just going to get right into it, right? So I'm just going to start from the top. We got right, right? We got our right up leg. So we're going to hit right up leg. I hold the shift down, and I'm going to click this down to the right toe base. Now we got that highlighted. We're going to right click. We're going to click on new retarget chain from selection bones. All right, so this is about to be a kind of a slow, tedious process, but we got to do it to get it done. All right, so I hit no goal. Now I'm going to go to left up leg, go down to left toe base. We're going to go to new retarget. We hit OK, and then we hit no goal. We can see it populating on the side over here. Now we're going to go to spine. I'm going to go to highlight that, right click, same thing here, spine. Now from here, we got left shoulder. I'm just clicking left shoulder and right clicking on it. And here, we're going to put left clavicle. So you'll see why I'm doing this a little bit later. But I'm going to put clavicle over there. So we know we that's our left clavicle. Just that one. Now we're going to go to left arm. And we're going to highlight to left hand. We're going to right click. 
left arm. We can leave that the same now. No goal. If you see, if you understand, and if I'm going too fast for you, you can see in here, basically on this right side, the retargeting thing, left arm to left hand. That lets you know where we're going. So if you made a mistake, you can actually go through and click there. All right, so now we're going to do left hand thumb. Just know if you don't have hand data, like, no, not hand data, finger data, you don't necessarily need to do these other steps right here. I do have finger data on this animation, so I'm going to make sure I do this as well. So we're going to have to do each one. We got left hand thumb, to, it's left hand thumb one, two, and left hand thumb three. We're going to right click, we're going to do the same thing. See how it still registers as left arm? I usually just put thumb, so left thumb. No goal. You're going to kind of see in a little bit of what I'm doing. It's going to put this one is index. So left index. And I'm going to populate this entire thing. I might speed it up, but I'm showing you all a little bit so you can see here. All right, so we got our pinky now. Now this is right shoulder. We might go through to the right side. This one by itself, we're going to right click. We're going to put this one right clavicle. All right, and now I'm going to speed this up, but we're about to go to do this whole process as well. The same thing here, right arm. No goal. Go to the thumb. I'm going to right click. All right, then we got our neck and head. Right click there, new retarget, leave that as head. No goal. Now that we got this thing, we can just save that, we can close out of here. Now one thing we can do is, if we go back, go back up a folder, we go to our skeleton right here, our MVM puppet, this is what we downloaded. We can be able to double click on that, it's gonna come up right here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this right here, if we click on it, and we have show retargeting options. We click that. We're going to have all of this stuff comes up. Under hips, if we click off to the side, it's going to turn blue. We can hold our shift and click down here. Now we right click on it and we recursively set transition retargeted skeleton. So now we have that. We can get out of this now. We can close that bad boy up. We can go back into our folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much do the same process to our cyborg. So we have him. It's all fresh. We're going to start off with our pelvis. We're going to right click on that. We're going to set that as the retarget root. You'll see it there. Now we're going to go down here and do that same process. Spine. We're going to add this as a new retarget chain from selected bones. No goal. Neck and head. It comes in his head no goal we got our clavicle now we're going to right click on this one this is our left clavicle and you'll see we name them the same because basically when we go through into our chain mapping they need to add up they need to look the same now we got upper arm to hand now we got our index good thing is here now on this character it's already going to be coming up saying that so we don't got to type in the whole index middle which is why we typed it in at originally for the other character I'm gonna fast forward this up we're doing the same process all right we're skipping these lower arm twists we can go to clavicle right so we right click on that one we know this is gonna be right clavicle Okay, same process, upper arm to hand. And now we got our fingers and we're gonna run through these things. Indexes, right click. Middle. Now here, we got our thigh. One thing I noticed that when we start putting our thigh in, they'll try to create multiple of, of these basically chain names. This is what I do. All right, so I just click thigh, right click, 
new retarget. We got our right there, no goal. Now we'll have five. Ender here, I usually go down and then I change it to ball. So I'll do that. Now, that means that we have all of those that because this um, calf twist, see how it's not registered? So it don't. Uh, it don't actually register for some reason and it'll make a make another one. So instead of doing that, we just go like to this thigh, new right leg. And then I go in here and change that to ball. It's still ball left leg, ball right. And that's all we need to do for this. So all we do is we save that, close it up. Now the fact that we're here, what we can start doing is, let's say we got an animation. What's the animation we want to really look into, right? So the animation that we want to look into is, let's say I got one of me dancing. Let me see if I can find that. Give me a second. All right, I found it. So my FBX file is here, and I basically can just drag and drop it over. Test dance. So. When I drag and drop, what's gonna happen is, is going to come up with our FBX import options. What I wanna do is, I want to connect this up to the MVN puppet import. This is what we got from the Movella site. So I'm gonna click that. We can leave all of these the same and we hit import all. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Now we have our character. This is basically the test dance you can see. This is what I was doing. All right, so that's the animation that I created with my accents. You know what I mean? Y'all probably seen that video. So we have that. I'm gonna close that out. That's not, doesn't matter right now. So now what we can do next is, is to create an IK retargeter. So now we need to make sure that we merge them. We already basically did our animation as far as, not our animation, we already did the IK rigs creating and giving them a chain name. Now we gotta be basically merge these things together. So we go into animation, we go down to IK rig, and we click on IK retargeter. I'm gonna connect it up to the MVN, not our cyborg, MVN. Now what I'm gonna do is in here, I'm going to name this, I'm just gonna name, name it cyborg. Reasons why I'm doing that because this one MVN um, rig, I can connect up multiple characters to it so I can continue and I don't have to go redo that one. So this retargeter is just going to be for this character right here. So we got our cyborg. Now we're going to open that up. Let's get it up in here. When you first open it, it might have, might look like this. See how you got all of these, basically the, it, the giant circles and triangles. What you want to do is you go to character, go to bones, bone draw size, and I just usually lower that. You can see it lowering in the back. I usually drop mine to about 0.85. Now basically that is when you're trying to go through and target those things. You can really click on them. But here, if we look over into our details panel, we'll have our source, which is the MVN rig right here. We're using the, the MVN puppet. That's this, um, the mesh that we're using. So target, what are we taking this to? It's going to be the cyborg. So if we open that up and we click on our cyborg IK rig, it's going to populate right in here. So now we have this in here, right? So what I want to do is normally I go to this target uh, mesh offset. So I just kind of shift them over a little bit. So now that we're in here, what we need to start doing is we need to make this character look like him. We need to pose him that way. So what we do is we go into edit pose. That's on our left side. We go into edit pose. You can be able to move up if you want to. And what I'm going to do is, we're gonna start looking for those bones. I know that he has clavicles here. Now you can look for it like this, but I wanna basically have him look like that. So I'm gonna raise his hands up. So now since I clicked on here, let's go through. All right, so let's go into our clavicle upper arm. We're there. Now I can rotate this up. I'm gonna take it to about 60 right there. And now we look for his other clavicle left. We in there, we can see it right there at highlights. And now we can rotate that up, 60, there. See how we're getting there? Now, what you would wanna do is, you probably wanna see how I got my head straight up. You can be able to look at this and start moving and merging and all that kind of stuff, really trying to dial your stuff in. I'm gonna go to a head real quick. All right, so we got the head, I'm gonna rotate that up so it's straight up. And then you can really go in here and start 
going through each of these fingers. You know what I mean? You can really go through and really start dialing it in, making sure that the hand is up. You know what I mean? All of that. So like I can do this. And you want to really get it straight and dial in. And that's just you moving things around and getting it there. So now that you have this there, I don't have the fingers fully all straight out. I'm just trying to make this tutorial, but you will definitely send there and you can go through and you see how I'm doing this right here. You can literally just go in and mess with each finger and dial it in right there. Let's make sure that thumb, you're going to braise it up. See how I'm doing that. And you're going to go get, make it fully straight. And you come over here and do this side. You can look for the thumb. You can click on here or you can just clip thumb. You know what I mean? And you can start to raise it up, but you want to flatten them out like that. You can be able to look on top, basically raise up so you can make sure that you have it the way you want it. But let's say, for instance, you get it all set. You get it fine and dandy. You like that. Remember that animation that I clicked in? Um, let's say, for instance, here first, if you go to your chain mapping, you can check on these and make sure that all of these are the same. So if you want to do auto map chain mapping, this is why we labeled them what we labeled them because they all come in the same and it's going to help. Now that we go into here, our asset browser, right? What you can do is I brought in that test dance. This was my animation. If I double click this, we should start seeing something happening. Look at that. Already right there. We got our animation. It's retargeted to this character. Now, you can spend a lot more time in really dialing in the fingers, dialing in if you wanted the feet to be a certain way. See how I got his head look like it's going in there. And one thing is, as well as you can go through and look at one of my other videos if you wanted to animate or edit an animation. So this right here, if I like what I see here, I will hit test dance and then I'm gonna go through export. Let's put this in, um, what do we got created here? We have um, retarget. Let's go to retarget. We are going to put it there. We'll put it on a retarget section. Export. That stuff is retargeted. We could save this, close this bad boy out. Now, and if I look at my retarget, I got an animation. Retargeted onto a character. And he's going to start his dancing. And you can really just go in. We can take off the bone mesh. Let's just do none. So we just got the character. You can see how it's a little bit janky. I would still really go in there and make sure I do adjustments to this thing. But ultimately, that shows you how to retarget. So I know I was talking for a long time, but this is how you would take um, your XN's FBX data from that, basically bringing it into Unreal Engine, retargeting it, and putting it on a character. Now, you can do this with different type of characters. I'm just using the characters in here. So you can bring in characters, retarget them, get them all dialed in, get out there and make things happen. So hopefully this wasn't uh, too long and boring for you. Hopefully it's useful. And I would say get out there, keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.